So in an odd twist, Verdansk might be coming back to Warzone, but there's one huge catch. Today, we're breaking down what we know about Verdansk's possible return here, where we found out about this, and where we can see this going from here. So as we go along, drop your thoughts down below. Would you guys like to see Verdansk once again here in Warzone's future? Will you be trying out this version once it becomes available? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, you find it at all insightful, it clears anything up for you, do me a favor and drop a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button as well to stay up to date with all things Warzone, Modern Warfare 2 here in the near future, and anything COD related. Over the course of the next couple of weeks to months, it should be pretty eventful. So if you guys are interested in staying up to date with all of that, I'd love to have you in the community. And finally, my friends over at Gamer Advantage have bumped up code Espresso to 20% off to celebrate their new launch of New Horizon frames here. A bunch of new colors just went out. So if you guys are interested in protecting your vision, the link is down there in the description below, but we'll talk about them more a little bit later on in the video. For now though, let's talk about Verdansk. Now, Verdansk is a hot topic of discussion lately. Obviously, since Season 1, we've had Caldera back within Warzone, and Caldera's launch brought a whole host of, oh, I'm enjoying something new, or, oh man, I really miss Verdansk, can we go back? It really kind of seems to be one way or the other, and unfortunately for many, that dream of going back probably won't be fulfilled, but with Verdansk potentially popping up in the distant future, even when it does, it probably isn't going to be in the same capacity that you're thinking of. Now, a few days ago, it was Warzone's two-year anniversary. Activision put out the following image on screen right now that you can see, alongside a new announcement the teams were making. When we look at this image, it's presumed concept art for Warzone, where we see an operator about to jump out of the deployment ship and into a world. Now, given this is concept art, it doesn't seem like anything we can really recognize, right? Well, that's where you're wrong, because we can see a few denoted key points. And in this image, you can clearly see some Verdansk-style buildings, the police station, double white houses, storage units, red sheds, and if you look too far into it, you can actually see that those are kind of copy and pasted in some other areas, but it's definitely concept art, but also pertaining to Verdansk. Not the one that we're necessarily familiar with because it's not any certain point of interest in the map that we had beforehand, but a version of Verdansk. But that's where things get a little bit weird, because if you guys don't recall, this was for the announcement on March 10th, again, the anniversary of Warzone, to formally announce that Warzone Mobile would be coming. Now, listed in the announcement of We Are Building Out Call of Duty Warzone for Mobile, apply today for exciting roles across development and publishing teams with a link to apply, was that key art image that rolled out with the announcement. So, curveball indeed, but it sure sounds interesting, and when you look further, it goes pretty deep here in which this might actually be something. Now, I don't remember who I saw it first from. It was bounced around all the insiders that we've talked about here on the channel before as to the validity of this, the fact that we will eventually see Verdansk in a COD Mobile Warzone. So that's cool to see, but we've also had this kind of happen before already in regards to something after it's gone coming to the mobile platform. We saw that Blackout's map was put in a Battle Royale section of mobile. So it seems like Verdansk could follow suit in that, all right, let's shift it from the mainline title and that content to mobile. And for that, I'm cool with seeing where this goes. It also should be noted though, that this also is going to be far more supported in development than just the mobile battle royale that we saw up until this point utilizing the blackout map because this is an official project going forward warzone is the biggest ip that call of duty has that's supported right now and being that mobile accounts for a billion plus gamers that's something that they definitely want to end up capitalizing on. So it might not even be tethered just to COD Mobile, but maybe a standalone application. But where it gets weirder still is that we actually might have a bit of an explainer as to the Verdansk version that we see right now. Right now, it's being rumored by a few digging into this that we saw a teaser for this actually a couple of months back with COD Mobile's hiring page relating to the Clan Wars development. Now, that's something that is in the game right now, but then where it showed what looked to be the exact pass that we can see in that concept art, the sort of zigzag through a mountain with those exact points of interest and items. But what's even crazier still is that it doesn't end there because it's possible we have a first look at Verdansk 2.0 or whatever, because in game, is seemingly the updated version from that hiring page. If you look at any of the Clan War stuff in COD Mobile, you'll see that there's a TAC map in the background. And that's actually the full piece here to this, the full picture of that puzzle piece. Now, sure, it's kind of easy to write this off as maybe just a concept piece as something that's just there, but it's curious how many coincidences would then match up. The Clan Wars hiring page featuring that section of the point of interest, the Clan Wars background being an entirely new world featuring new locales, points of interest, and then that Warzone official mobile announcement featuring an image of a drop area that is explicitly on that map. Now, it's not like it's just, oh, it's that building, but that building should be here instead of where it is. It matches one to one. Police station, two-story white building. Across the street, you have that red cubic shed and the storage units behind it. The hillside above, you have double white again with a garage behind that. 
another shed just beneath that, and another double white on the lower end there as well. It matches too perfectly. So what's this lead to? Now, if we can assume this tack map from the Clan Wars background is actually going to be the Warzone mobile tack map, well, we have a cool mixture of what looks to be for Dansk and Blackout. Plenty of locations that you can make out already from this. Starting in the northwesternish area, you have that dam from Blackout and that middle split island that then eventually leads to Rivertown. To the east of that, you have the Verdansk style buildings that we saw from the key art. North of that, it looks like you have the Verdansk monuments and what looks to be the start of Arklov military base with the trailers there and leading to what is a long tarmac. Just south of that, you have what looks like Lozov Pass, but this is where we'll come back to it. It's kind of a glitch in the map, it looks like almost, where it doesn't seem to be stitched together properly and maybe it's just the concept piece out of that but you do have those exact portions of Lozov Pass like the apartment building bank burger town or gun store depending on if you're looking at the modern or 84 version of Verdansk elsewhere throughout the map you have the port of Verdansk you have that small town just north of where stadium and downtown was you have block seemingly in two locations mixed with other areas of play all around that map so what are the odds of this actually being the real tack map in the upcoming world for Verdansk 2.0, if we can call that, with Warzone Mobile. Honestly, I'd go 50-50. There's a few spots where this does look new. It looks like something built out, but at the same time, there's other areas that are like two comp buildings and two banks literally pasted right next to each other that just doesn't make any sense. But realistically, it really all comes down to if this was planned to be in development from as long ago back as it was introduced with Clan Wars or if it was scrapped content elsewhere. So it comes down to what you think scrapped concept art or legitimate map here that we may have already gotten teased with Verdansk perhaps coming. So there's a lot of what ifs, a lot of variables, but the possibility of Verdansk returning in a different capacity than we may actually hope for for us here on the mainline titles it still does persist. So that said, that's where we're going to wrap it up. I wanted to bring you guys this information here. Found it pretty fascinating that we might see a version of Verdansk that we've never seen before, but also in a way that we probably won't access for the majority of us, perhaps. I don't know. I haven't played too much COD Mobile. Maybe you guys have. Maybe it's something right up your alley, but keep an eye out. We probably still have a ton of time, though, for the development of this. I'm not expecting it anytime soon since the announcement was just made, but... Who knows? With that said, that's where we're going to wrap things up. But before we go, a quick reminder, my friends over at Gamer Advantage just launched New Horizon frames, which honestly are my favorite ones that they offer here. They're incredibly lightweight. Sometimes I even forget that I have mine on. They're incredibly durable, and they protect your eyes against the effects of blue light if you're on your phone, gaming, or at your desk, working for prolonged periods of day, like I am. I will swear by these guys. Best on the market, and I've used their stuff now daily for well over a year and have had zero regrets. If you're interested in picking up a pair for yourself, or at the very least learning more, check the link in the description below. But if you do find anything interesting, Code Espresso is bumped up to 20% off your entire order right now. So check it out. Maybe save yourself a bit of money while saving your long-term vision health as well. That said, that's what we're going to call it. So drop your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you guys in the community. Thanks so much for watching. Mine has been Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.